here at CES 2024 and I am really excited because there is so much tech going on. I've been coming here for years and it's always fun to see what really the future is gonna hold. And one thing I'm particularly excited about today are all the robots that are here because that seems to be where everything is going. So let's go find all the crazy robots we can and see what the future really is gonna look like. Okay, robot number one that we found is a robotic charger. This is from a company called Star Charge, and they have lots of public charging stations all throughout Asia. And one of the cool things, you can see the robot actually will automatically insert the plug into the actual charging port. You can see it's scanning, and it's trying to find where the port is. And then once it makes a plan, it just executes. If you have an automated system, let's say a trolley or a train or a any kind of autonomous vehicle, you don't have to have a person there just to plug it in. So this is a really cool robot that I think will actually come to market and save a lot of people a lot of time. So thumbs up for me, this one's pretty cool. Here's another robot that we just found and these guys have a bunch of different applications. The manufacturer is called Unitree and there's a different distributor here in the US versus other parts of the world. They have these robot dogs, they've got a humanoid dog and they're already deploying these out for things like monitoring prison cells and reducing the amount of actual humans needed to do some of the more law enforcement type activities. They have some in schools, which I don't know how I feel about, like for education, but then also for security. So it's a really interesting idea, similar to the Boston Dynamics uh, robot dog, if you've seen that one, where you have different applications on it. Their big difference is that they're open source. So you can actually build the software yourself. I'm a fan of open source. I worked in many years. I think that's gonna lead to a better software platform. So hopefully these guys are successful and we can actually in increase the abilities and also reduce the amount of labor needs in a lot of these different applications. So definitely cool. Okay, here's the next robot and it's kind of crazy. This is Adam from Rich Tech and they make a bunch of different robots. This one here is a barista robot and apparently you can turn him into a bartender robot or something. I have a drink coming up and we'll see how it does because to me, this is where it's gone too far. I am not a fan of this replacing my actual barista or a bartender. That seems like a terrible idea. I think they're onto something here. We'll see how the coffee is when, when it comes out. Okay, it's been about 10, 12 minutes now. They claim that it only takes one minute per drink. Still no sign of my name or my drink, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna call this a fail. Sorry. This is the RoboQ from Lotus Robotics. It's a Chinese-based company that has a platform here that is all based on autonomous driving and they can have different applications such as this one here, which is a street sweeper. They're looking to deploy this in China very soon. And one of the cool things is, is with an aging population like China and Japan and the US and lots of other countries have, things like this are gonna help kind of reduce the labor that's needed to actually maintain a city. So. Here's a cool example of it as a street sweeper. You can see right now it's headed over to charge underneath its own self-charging. So this thing is fully autonomous, just cleaning this little area. I feel like we should throw some trash out there or something. It's just so cool to see it's fully automated, a fully autonomous system that is actually existing and not just a 3D render. Definitely one of the coolest robots I've seen that is actually doing something. Here's another robot that I'm really excited about because this is something I've been wanting in my house for a long time. This is the Roborock S8 Max V Ultra. It's a mouthful, but what it has is this new mopping technology where it can actually mop all the little corners here. And as you can see in their little display, they've done a great job making it like a real home. I've had some of these in the past that haven't worked super well because when you have a sock laying around, it just plows over and gets stuck. This one, as we've seen, is able to navigate around that and figure everything out without you having to do anything. It's all built in based on its vision system. And this may be overkill, but kind of neat. They have it built in where you can actually install this in a cabinet with a water hose and a pipe, and it will drain the mop water and then refill itself all entirely on its own. Again, probably not something most people are gonna do, but maybe you're building a new home and want something really advanced. This is pretty cool. And this is what CES is all about. So another robot here, probably the most advanced like vacuum robot you could get in this whole show. Uh, but one of the other ones has been around for a while and you can see the maturity of it and how effective it is. So very cool in my book. 
And probably the coolest robot that I found of all so far is this one here from Segway. This is the Navamo i series. It's the latest that they have in this lawn mower that is just going to save you a ton of time by mowing your lawn when you're not there having to do it, which is great because you know how it always is. That one day it's I get to mow the lawn, it's so exciting, and then it becomes a chore. This thing is going to help you with all that and save all that time to where you can really look forward to it, which I think is fantastic. And Segway is also the sponsor of today's video. What we're going to look at here is actually how to set this up because I was just in Japan and I saw a few of these at this uh, big park I was at, but they had these wires running everywhere. And so most of these actually have to have a bunch of infrastructure in place in order to work properly. This one here doesn't need any of that. You do it from the phone. You kind of can't see it here with the, the sun, but I'm going to actually create a little boundary and a little map for it. And then in the future, it can go on that path all on its own without you having to do it. So you don't need any wires or anything buried or like that. And you can just have this guy kind of save you all that time. So here we go. Wish me luck. So while this thing is going, it has different sensors on it to detect exactly what's in your yard. You know, I've got kids, so they're going to leave stuff in the yard and they're going to, you know, it's going to be a mess. So it has cameras and all kinds of other sensors there to help deal with that. So that way you don't have to worry about it. It's not like you have to clean up the yard every time before you use it. One of the great things about this too is now it charges itself. You don't have to clean out the, the basket with a regular lawnmower and it maps out exactly everything your yard needs so it knows where to go. But you also can do an auto mapping feature. So I did it manually, but you can also just click auto map and it will just go find its way. If it detects something it's not sure of, it'll pop up on the phone asking you what to do. But that way you don't, if you have a big yard, you don't have to do it inch by inch. You can kind of let it go. So once you're good there, you can actually just hit mow now on the app. And there he goes. Thanks to Segway for sponsoring this video. And if you guys want to know more about this, check out the link down on the screen below or in the description. These are coming out in the March, April timeframe. We don't have all the details yet, but I have been told I'm going to get one. So stay tuned for a full review. Make sure to subscribe and all that stuff and uh, sign up for updates in case this is something you're interested in. Thanks again, Segway, for sponsoring this episode.